this is a very simple application, but still we already tried to optimize it quite a lot. Meaning for instance, if we refresh here, we see that we do some preloading techniques. So we download the nine model only when it is actually needed. Also we use NGX quick link, for instance, that preloads assets once we navigate to them, such that they are already there when the user clicks then on the corresponding link. So we have applied quite some optimizations already. However, if we are in very bad network conditions, or even if the user is offline, we still have performance issues, of course. Now, one way to optimize that is to actually add some service worker and some pre-caching mechanism to serve the assets, the JavaScript files, and even images from the local storage rather than over the network. Let's see how we can do that in Angular. Now, Angular has a very nice package, which is called ngpva. So we can use the ng add command at angular slash pva to install it from npm and automatically configure our local application with the Angular service worker. Now once this is installed, let's inspect here our app module. So in the app module we see here we get that service mo worker module registered in our import section. It registers here that JavaScript file and it enables that service work only for production. So before diving into that, let's quickly create a production build to actually see that service work in action. Now let's fire up an HTTP server on that port on the dist folder. Now if we go to localhost 1234 and refresh, we see here our service worker being installed. We even see the install command here popping up in Chrome. If we go here to application, we can also inspect here that our service worker has been registered and being received. And if we go to the network panel and refresh, we see that the service worker is actually serving our files. The boot up time has already really increased. Even if we go offline and we refresh, our application is still served and still works. There's only one issue, however. If we go to the nine, we see that image here doesn't get actually pre-cached. We can even optimize that. Let's see how. So with that installation of the service worker, we got actually a configuration file in our project. We scroll down here, we see that ngsv config. And if you open that, we see the configuration which Angular by default generates to pre-cache our application. Now, if you take a look at that prefetch section up here, you can see that the fav icon gets pre-cached index HTML, the CSS files, the JS files. However, in our assets folder up here of our application, we don't pre-cache that image. And so what we want to do here is to add another entry, which will also pre-cache that PNG file in our assets folder. Now again, let's create here a production build. Again, let's fire up here our static server. Let's go online and refresh. Let's go to our home part here, refresh again. Now let's go offline, refresh, and now if you can click here on that button, also our image gets properly pre-cached by our service worker. 